Hi, welcome to Chemosis.online. Get your registration on Chemosis.online and join a course on CSAR Net Chemical Sciences, Gate Chemistry, JL, DL, Set, IIT Chemistry if you are interested. And play the best concept video lectures with previous years solve problems, assign a standard model problems and topic wise assignments. Thank you. Now we are discussing nucleophilicity versus basicity. Okay, so so many have confusion on uh, differentiating the strengths of nucleophiles and bases because nucleophiles and bases are involving in the major uh, reactions of organic chemistry as in substitution reactions and elimination reactions. Okay, right. In this lecture, I try to give some information so to differentiate nucleophile and base and their strengths okay now i know what is a nucleophile so all, all of us having the name uh, having the definition of nucleophile but it is uh, important to start from basics right so what is the definition of nucleophile an atom ion or molecule that has an electron pair and that may be donated in bonding to an electrophile so here electrophile is lewis acid as we know the definition of lewis acid so it can uh, it can attract electrons towards it okay and in some time atom or ion or molecule okay atom ion or molecule with its with negative charge if it can attack on electrophile okay so then then also we can consider it as nucleophile okay right just check here uh, alkyl halide here x indicates halogen and with another so substrate here carbon with uh, uh, that means sulfonyl oxygen and another carbon which is bonded with uh, carbonyl oxygen okay in all these examples so here the carbonyl oxygen uh, or carbonyl substrate that may be aldehyde or ketone and we, we may observe uh, different kinds of um, substrates but I have given uh, two or three here so just check due to the more electronegativity of halogen for this alkyl halogen bond so the bond electrons are attracted towards halogen hence alkyl or the carbon center here is electrophilic in nature and check another example here in the in this uh, due to the more electronegativity nature of oxygen which is bonded to this carbon center the bond electrons are attracted towards oxygen and carbon here in this substrate is in electrophilic nature okay and then check this carbonyl group due to that oxygen it can uh, attract electron towards or uh, drags electrons towards it hence carbon is in electrophilic nature okay so these are all electrophilic carbon centers then they can react with nucleophiles or bases in two different ways they here if the if electrophilic carbon react with the molecule here that may be nucleophile or bases and if that involves in substitution or addition at carbon center okay then we consider them as nucleophiles okay and that is nucleophilicity and if they involve beta elimination or enolate anion formation then we consider that as base and it is basicity okay right now basicity so just check the definition for basicity the ability of a base to accept proton okay right basicity always related with pk value of conjugate acid okay right and just uh, remind the downstead acid base that is conjugate acid base pair we know that conjugate acid base pair differentiate with proton only okay right whenever the conjugate acid is strong enough then its conjugate base should be weak and whenever conjugate acid is weak 
then its conjugate base should be strong okay so that has given by brown red acid we can say from brown red acid base theory okay right and uh, higher the pk value for particular molecule then it is stronger in its basic strength okay and if lower the pk value weaker the base strength okay right and now check based on this information uh, the basic strength of some of example here so conjugate acid hydrogen iodide is a conjugate acid and its pk value is minus 9 that is pk value is very very less for hydrogen iodide acid hence its a uh, uh, base a uh, base strength for uh, iodide is conjugate base iodide is very weak okay because whenever pk value is very very less the strong conjugate acid is very strong and whenever conjugate acid is very strong and its base is very weak okay right i am check hcl the strong acid and its pk value is minus 7 then the strong acid conjugate base is cl minus here and cl minus always weak base okay so just check s3o plus it's strong acid because its pk value is minus 1.7 here and uh, its conjugate base is water hence it is weak base okay so as we said the conjugate acid base differs with proton okay that means here the conjugate acids here hydrogen iodide hcl h3o plus they can easily donate their proton okay to the uh, to the particular conjugate bases okay right and as we said these are weak bases because they cannot uh, they cannot abstract proton from other substrates okay so that's why they are weak bases okay like that we can consider uh, this uh, uh, increasing base strength in this and now just check methane so methane is having pk value 48 okay methane is having pk value 48 that means it is very higher value so that's why the acid strength of methane is very very weak that means methane uh, doesn't easily produce proton from it okay so whenever we consider weak conjugate acid and its uh, conjugate base should be strong base okay that's why ch3 minus here is a strongest base okay right now nucleophilicity so nucleophilicity is a complex property okay because if we cannot easily define nucleophilicity uh, because involvement of different conditions so now just check to define nucleophilicity generally nucleophilicity refers to the sn2 reaction that means bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reactions because in bimolecular bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reactions uh, the rate of reaction depends on substrate and also on particular base or nucleophile which is involving in it so that's why nucleophilicity is majorly refers to sn2 reactions okay the strength of nucleophilicity approximately determined for the sn2 reactions at the halogen bearing carbon atoms as a reference alkyl halide here in methanol solution just that uh, alkyl halide may be methyl bromide or methyl hydride just check that reaction here so nucleophile whenever attacks and methyl bromide the substitution reaction is takes place in methanol solution and this substitution reaction is sn2 okay right let's check the order this order is given in methanol solution so this is approximate order now so if you check this order water is a weak nucleophile and phenyl selenium anion is the strongest nucleophile in this order okay right now the competition of uh, two uh, nucleophiles whenever you are in competition just check them so uh, to get to differentiate the nucleophiles so we have a rule that is stronger the base 
the stronger the nucleophile okay if the molecule is stronger if a molecule is a, a stronger base then we may consider it as a stronger nucleophile so, but here as an exception so but, uh, but now just check the stronger base and stronger nucleophile rule here so trifluoroethoxide anion has pk value 12 and uh, other so ethoxide anion having pk value 16 in this two oxygen anion is nucleophile but here we have different molecules okay right and they having different pk value okay so by using this pk values we can say ethoxide anion is a stronger base and the stronger nucleophile whenever compared with trifluoroethoxide anion okay right now here uh, as we said exception for this rule that is stronger the base and it should be stronger the nucleophile okay so the exception is due to alpha effect okay when adjacent or vicinal atom carries a non-bonded electron pair the strength decreases as okay just check some of the example here so hydroxide anion has a pk value 15.7 here and it's uh, another uh, that means uh, another nucleophile here hydrogen peroxide anion it has pk value 11.6 but in these two oxygen anions are nucleophiles that okay but in the peroxide anion we have extra hydroxy group with lone pair of electrons on oxygen okay that makes the decreasing the pk value that is to 11.6 okay i check another example ammonia and uh, hydrazine ammonia has pk value 9.3 and hydrazine has pk value 8 that is due to the adjacent uh, atom with lone pair of electrons that is here nitrogen okay right and after checking this page so we can say the higher value pk value that is 15.7 and 9.3 for um, uh, for hydroxide anion and ammonia respectively as strong bases and we can say so due to that lower pk value 11.6 and eight for hydrogen peroxide anion and hydrazine they are strong nucleophiles okay so experimentally observe that these are stronger nucleophiles than hydroxide and ammonia okay so that's why due to that alpha effect the stronger base and stronger nucleophile rules have some uh, diffractions from it okay right or deviations from it now some general observations for an element negatively charged species or more nucleophilic are more basic than their equivalent neutral species okay and nucleophilicity or basicity decreases on moving from left to right on periodic table and nucleophilicity increases from top to bottom that is with increasing size okay so this nucleophilicity uh, also deviates by the solvent effect so we can check it now so now solvent effect solvation of nucleophilic anions markedly influenced by their reactivity okay so polar protic solvents such as water alcohol solvates anions by hydrogen bonding just check that in a diagram so here chlorine is having lone pair of electrons on it and whenever chlorine is taken in a methanol solution okay so methanol forms hydrogen bond that means a hydrogen uh, of the methanol forms a hydrogen bonding with chlorine okay after formation of this uh, hydrogen bonding with anion or nucleophile the solvated species are less reactive than the unsolvated naked anions towards nucleophilic or to uh, as a nucleophile or as a base the the reactivity nature decreases whenever they are in polar protic solvents okay right 
and polar aprotic solvents like dimethyl sulfoxide, DMF, dimethyl formamide, acetonitrile do not solvate anions as strong as methanol but provide good solvation effect for the reactions with cations to proceed the reaction well. Okay, so that's why we, we use uh, polar protic Pol sorry polar aprotic okay just uh, check that polar aprotic solvents like dmso dmf estonetrels are used okay so this is the order of increasing nucleophilic strength in the solvent that is polar aprotic solvent that is dimethyl sulfoxide okay in this uh, solvent iodide is a uh, weaker nucleophile in this methoxide is a stronger nucleophile okay so just to have all this information in your mind whenever you are differentiating the strength of nucleophile sign basis okay right thank you